Hypertensive nephrosclerosis is a significant medical condition that affects the kidneys and is caused by long-standing high blood pressure. Understanding the intricacies of this condition is essential for medical professionals in order to provide accurate diagnosis, appropriate management, and effective patient education. In this detailed script, we will delve into various aspects of hypertensive nephrosclerosis, including its pathophysiology, clinical presentation, diagnostic evaluation, management strategies, prognosis, and preventive measures. To comprehend the impact of hypertensive nephrosclerosis on the kidneys, it is crucial to have a solid understanding of the renal anatomy and physiology. The kidneys, which are located in the retroperitoneal space, consist of numerous functional units called nephrons. Each nephron is comprised of a glomerulus, which filters blood, and a tubule, which reabsorbs essential substances and removes waste products. The intricate network of blood vessels in the kidneys ensures an adequate blood supply for filtration and maintenance of proper renal function. Hypertension can be classified into several categories based on its underlying cause and severity. Primary or essential hypertension, which accounts for the majority of cases, has no identifiable cause. On the other hand, secondary hypertension is attributed to an underlying medical condition, such as renal artery stenosis or adrenal tumors. Hypertensive nephrosclerosis is a specific form of secondary hypertension that results from long-term, uncontrolled high blood pressure damaging the renal blood vessels and subsequently, leading to kidney dysfunction. Blood pressure regulation involves the coordinated actions of various physiological mechanisms, including the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, sympathetic nervous system, and endothelial function. Dysfunction in any of these systems can contribute to the pathogenesis of hypertensive nephrosclerosis. For instance, increased activity of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system leads to vasoconstriction and sodium and water retention, resulting in elevated blood pressure and subsequent renal injury. Hypertensive nephrosclerosis is characterized by a complex cascade of events involving endothelial dysfunction, chronic inflammation, and oxidative stress. Persistent high blood pressure damages the delicate endothelial lining of the renal blood vessels, impairing their ability to dilate and causing leakage of proteins and inflammatory cells into the renal tissues. This chronic inflammatory response further perpetuates renal injury, leading to fibrosis and scarring of the kidney parenchyma. Patients with hypertensive nephrosclerosis typically present with nonspecific symptoms, making the diagnosis challenging. Common clinical manifestations include hypertension, proteinuria, excess protein in the urine, microscopic hematuria, presence of blood cells in the urine, and declining kidney function. In advanced stages, symptoms of fluid overload, such as edema and shortness of breath, may develop. Accurate diagnosis of hypertensive nephrosclerosis involves a comprehensive diagnostic workup. Blood and urine tests, including measurement of serum creatinine, urine protein to creatinine ratio, and renal imaging studies, such as ultrasound or computed tomography, CT, help assess kidney function and identify structural abnormalities. In some cases, a renal biopsy may be necessary to confirm the diagnosis and exclude other concurrent kidney diseases. Distinguishing hypertensive nephrosclerosis from other kidney diseases that share similar clinical presentations is of paramount importance. Conditions such as diabetic nephropathy, glomerulonephritis, and polycystic kidney disease often present with hypertension and proteinuria. Careful evaluation of clinical history, laboratory findings, and imaging studies aids in establishing an accurate diagnosis and determining the most appropriate treatment approach. Untreated or poorly managed hypertensive nephrosclerosis can lead to various complications, including the progression of chronic kidney disease, CKD. CKD is characterized by a gradual loss of kidney function over time, ultimately necessitating renal replacement therapy, such as dialysis or kidney transplantation. Moreover, individuals with hypertensive nephrosclerosis are at an increased risk of cardiovascular events, such as heart attacks and strokes, due to the interplay between hypertension, renal dysfunction, and vascular damage. The management of hypertensive nephrosclerosis involves a multifaceted approach aimed at preserving renal function and preventing disease progression. Central to this management strategy is strict blood pressure control through lifestyle modifications, including dietary sodium restriction, regular exercise, smoking cessation, and weight management. Additionally, antihypertensive medications, such as angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs, are commonly prescribed to optimize blood pressure control and provide renal protection. Renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, RAAS, inhibitors have proven to be pivotal in retarding the progression of hypertensive nephrosclerosis. By blocking the detrimental effects of angiotensin II on renal blood vessels, ROS inhibitors not only lower blood pressure but also exert a direct renoprotective effect. 
Recent advancements in the field have revealed promising emerging therapeutic options, such as novel ROS inhibitors and anti-inflammatory agents, which may further enhance renal protection and hypertensive nephrosclerosis. The prognosis of hypertensive nephrosclerosis largely depends on various factors, including the extent of kidney damage, degree of blood pressure control, and adherence to management strategies. Without adequate intervention, progressive kidney damage can lead to end-stage renal disease, ESRD, and its associated complications. Additionally, individuals with hypertensive nephrosclerosis are predisposed to an increased risk of cardiovascular events, further contributing to overall morbidity and mortality. To prevent or mitigate the risk of hypertensive nephrosclerosis, patient education plays a pivotal role. Raising awareness regarding the importance of blood pressure control, adherence to medications, and adoption of a healthy lifestyle can significantly reduce the risk of developing this condition. Regular follow-up visits with healthcare providers, monitoring of blood pressure at home, and prompt reporting of any alarming symptoms are crucial components of preventive measures. In conclusion, hypertensive nephrosclerosis is a condition affecting the kidneys due to chronic high blood pressure. Understanding its anatomy, pathophysiology, presentation, diagnosis, management, prognosis, and prevention is essential for healthcare professionals to improve patient outcomes.